There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued, and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be unfolding three recent discoveries, exploring beams from the most mysterious depths of the universe, microplastics which have managed to make their way into our lungs, and the presence of large complex molecules which could tell us more about life on other planets. Scientists have just detected a powerful space laser beaming from deep space. Literally less than a month ago, scientists discovered an immensely powerful radio wave laser. So powerful, it is referred to as a mega maser, from the new Meerkat telescope in South Africa. Not only is it a super strong beam, but it is also the most distant mega maser that they have been able to detect from Earth to date with estimates putting it at about 5 billion light-years away from us. Scientists from the team who discovered this mega maser explain that these are usually formed when two galaxies collide violently. When this happens, the gases from within these galaxies become extremely dense and can shoot out highly concentrated beams of light. This new mega maser has been officially named Nkala Kathu, a Zulu word appropriately meaning big boss. The discovery has also triggered excitement around the Meerkat telescope's potential. Dr. Glowacki, from the team of scientists, remarks that it's impressive that, with just a single night of observations, we've already found a record-breaking megamaser. It shows just how good the telescope is. The record-breaking discovery and insight into the power of Meerkat has the scientific community extremely hopeful about what they might discover next from this survey as they proceed by observing narrower parts of the night sky in extremely deep detail. The end goal will be to better understand the evolution of our universe and creation and formation of various galactic phenomena like megamazers themselves. Scientists have discovered microplastics in live human lungs for the first time. If there is one thing we love to prove, the impossible is impossible. And that is exactly what this next discovery is all about. Bloomberg themselves headline this as something that was once thought impossible. But sure enough, scientists have discovered microplastics in live human lungs for the first time. With the airway passages in the deepest parts of our lungs being so narrow, it has long been thought that it would simply not be possible for microplastics to be found there. Not only are these airways thought to be too narrow, especially when considering the size of particles found, but the lungs have natural filtration processes which medical professionals also expect to stop microplastics from entering the lower part of living lungs. It must be noted that microplastics have been found in human lungs before, but only ever in cadavers from autopsy samples, never before in a living human being. It's currently thought that their discovered presence deep in the lungs is due to increasing inhalation of microplastics, for example, from air pollution. As such, this discovery would advance medical knowledge of how plastics enter the body and how deep inside us they can get, but also make us more aware of the importance of maintaining safe environmental standards. With 39 different microplastics found in 11 of the 13 lung tissues sampled, Further studies will now be done into the impact these findings can have on our respiratory health and broader human health. It has now been revealed that surgeons from Castle Hill Hospital in East Yorkshire provided the lung tissue samples, collected unobtrusively from routine surgical procedures on living patients. Various lab tests then filtered out normal contents of the lung tissue to leave behind any miscellaneous matter. The types of microplastics found included 12 common ones found in the likes of packaging, bottles, clothing, rope or twine, and other aspects of manufacturing processes. The most abundantly found microplastic was polyethylene, which is usually from degraded plastics, nylon, resins, paints, etc. Interestingly, results also showed higher levels of microplastics in male lungs than female, although the reason for this is yet to be determined. As mentioned, the microplastics found were larger than ever expected, but scientists have confirmed that the discovered samples were of sizes and shapes which are inhalable to humans. 
The mystery of how has been answered, and with worsening air pollution, the why is not too far-fetched either. But nevertheless, questions around what else we think is impossible, but is not, still remains. Scientists discover the largest molecule ever found in a planet-forming disk. CH3OCH3, that's the chemical formula of this next molecule which has had scientists ooing and ahhing. Organic molecule, dimethyl ether, has for the first time been detected in a planet-forming disk. A molecule commonly found in star-forming clouds, dimethyl ether, has never before been detected in the formation of planetary disks, a rotating disk of gas, dust, and nearby ice. Composed of nine atoms, it is now the largest complex organic molecule to have been found in a planet-forming disk. Dimethyl ether was found in a planet-forming disk near the star IRS-48, using the largest radio telescope in the world, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, which is in Chile. It was initially put under observation owing to its bizarre cashew nut-like shape, known as a dust trap. In the southern part of this asymmetric disk is a region where tiny dust particles tend to collide and clump together, eventually forming kilometer-sized objects like comets, asteroids, and in this case, planets. Comms have been hugely insightful for scientists in studying the formation of different cosmic beings. Making up larger molecules like amino acids and sugars, they are quite literally the building blocks of life. Typically found stuck in ice, they form in extremely cold conditions, usually present from before stars are even born. Therefore, while we know they feature in star-forming clouds, this discovery now tells astronomers a whole load about how they are incorporated into planets, our own Earth included. Here is where it gets exciting. Astronomers and scientists now want to use this finding to tell us more about origins of life and the potential for life on other planets. Now that they know to look closer at the composition of clumps of ice in the universe, scientists are hopeful that they may find more examples of large complex molecules feeding the formation of other planet disks. They also remark at the possibility to use similar findings to better understand the origins of prebiotic molecules closer to home in our own solar system too. Every day we solve one mystery, discovering something new while creating new dilemmas for future generations to solve. Equally, trying to solve existing puzzles is by no means easy, and the possibility that there are things we simply will never know the answer to. However, time and time again, science proves that there is truly no limit to what is out there for us to learn, and in fact, it is only ever increasing by the day. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.